More than 140 fresh seasonings ground on site and fresh for your future culinary creations. Craig Coffey is downtown with more, plus a little something extra to help spice <laughs> up your Valentine's Day. Good morning, Craig. Ladies, excuse me. Good morning. <laughs> I gotta tell you, with all the chocolate, fresh fruit, spices, sauces, Dick, I'm in my happy place. <laughs> this is it for sure, right? This is a happy place. This is so good. Well, let's go ahead and talk now about what you do here because really you've got so many spices and sauces. You can make so many combinations, add to food, and really take things up a notch, right? We have over 500 freshly ground and blended spices, herbs, and we just uh, have a variety of things for any kind of food, whether you're a novice in the kitchen or an expert gourmet cook. Okay, we've covered so much stuff here this morning. Uh, again, I want to just touch on right here. This is called a ghost chili. This is the hottest chili on record in the world. That's right. Four times hotter than a habanero. We were out of them for a few months last year because the Indian government <laughs> bought them up to make tear gas. That's right. When you actually touch them, though, you have to wear gloves. That's what you wear. You recommend you We wear recommend gloves. it more, more for when you itch your nose and you feel it later, <laughs> not so much it's going to burn your hand. Okay, this is some hot stuff. Again, the scale on this is that... Uh, uh, what Scoville. Is Sco okay. Wilbur Scoville came up with a scale that measures heat units and in... That? Well, this is a million units here, <laughs> and uh, a habanero is about 250 to 300,000. So Okay. And on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. What, you know, how, what, okay. 10 being the hottest. What, what, 10 what? being the hottest, we usually say a habanero is a 10. Okay. Ghost chili is a 40. <laughs> it's about a 40, and you eat them. Okay. You had some sauce earlier. We did have some sauce. I won't try it again. We'll just leave that alone. But let's talk about now Big Super Sunday coming up in just over a week right now. And you've got some good things you can do. We've got some easy ways that you yeah. can have a success at your party. Some dips to put together that are just some of our wonderful spice blends yeah. that you can put with some sour cream. Okay. Simple. You tried some of that earlier. We it's have so popcorn good. toppings. You can have some honey powder on your popcorn. It's just like kettle corn. You just sprinkle it on. Just sprinkle it on. So a lot goes a long way. It does. And it's very flavorful flavorful and it's fresh and you can have a simple treat. Let's talk to you about Valentine's Day coming up. Brock, go ahead, put the info up on the screen this Monday night. You don't want to miss it down here at the Savory Spice Shop downtown. They are doing Valentine's Day dinner classes for you guys to uh, kind of take that uh, day up a notch for you and your lady. And again, they, they teach you courses here. They got chocolate and wine pairings. Uh, it's a good deal. 633-8803. That's their number for more information. And uh, space is limited. Just a few spaces left, so get in. Dick, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Oh, wow. Sexy, sensitive man like yourself. <laughs> My wife's standing right over there. <laughs> uh, no doubt we'll make a wonderful meal, whether it's what we show on Monday night or something else. Okay. We'll be cooking at home. Okay, just add a little spice, right? A little spice to our lives. That's what it's all about. Ladies, I'm going to send this back to you and get back to my happy place right now. Lucky guy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be talking Coconut. with your mouth full, you know? Huh? Don't be well, talking with your mouth you. full. <laughs> oh. so. No manners. No manners. Craig Coffee, quite the gig this morning. <laughs> Thanks.